it's pay-per-view time. It's time for another pay-per-view prediction video. And this time, it is the payback pay-per-view for WWE. It's coming up in today's episode, of course. Ryback versus John Cena. We're going to go all through what has happened in the recent weeks in this feud. As well as that, I'm going to give you guys my predictions of what's going to happen between this match and what's going to happen between for what's going to happen for Cena and Ryback heading in towards the future. What I think is going to happen and all that plus much, much more in this video. So I uh, hope you guys enjoy it. Now let's get it underway. As you can see, John Cena is the WWE Champion at the moment. Now Ryback, his pay-per-view record is atrocious. He hasn't, I believe he hasn't won a match on pay-per-view since Money in the Bank 2012. So almost a year. And in that match, he beat Kurt Hawkins, Kurt, yeah, Kurt Hawkins and Tyler Rex. So two jobbers. In a handicap match. So he hasn't won a match on pay-per-view since then. That is worrying signs for Ryback. But nonetheless, Ryback is heel. Cena, of course, is the face. Ryback turned heel because of the fact that Cena was not going... was Stopped helping him. You know, he didn't help him in the attacks against the Shield various times. And Ryback got frustrated. You know, he was sick and tired of not getting help from Cena when he was getting jumped on. And, you know, Cena was never there to help Ryback when, when the Shield cost him the... WWE Championship at uh, TLC and at Survivor Series and you know there's a lot of things that you know the Shield did to Ryback and you know Cena was never there to help but whenever Cena was getting attacked Ryback was right there to help Cena so Ryback felt as though look I had your back why don't you have my back kind of a situation and he got pissed off at it but the thing is why did Ryback lose and lose and lose if they're trying to build him up I mean, at WrestleMania against Mark Henry, he lost. Why? Mark Henry lost at Extreme Rules. Why the hell did Ryback lose? I'm still trying to figure that one out. Because I originally thought, alright, if Ryback loses, then Mark Henry's going to get the title shot at Extreme Rules. That never happened. Instead, they turned Ryback heel. I don't get it. So, I don't know. I, I believe they probably should have Ryback feud with, uh, I, don't, I don't know, a Sheamus or something like that as a heel then go for Cena, uh, beat Sheamus, and then go after Cena for at Money in the Bank or uh, maybe SummerSlam. That would have been much better. Built Ryback up a little bit more. But nonetheless, it is what it is, and Ryback is the heel coming in. And look, Payback is, uh, of course, this match is the three stages of hell match. The, the video you're going to be seeing is just the one stage is the tables match. And the three stages of hell match, Lumberjack match first up, then tables, then the ambulance match. Which is probably the probably the worst three stages of the hell match I've seen. Um, we don't even get a, a cage. We don't get a cell. We don't, I don't know, hardcore. I, I don't know. Something extreme. Nothing, nothing brutal. And I guess that's the way WWE is going these days. Nothing really is that extreme anyways. You know, or, you know, brutal, I guess you could say. But I think that's a bit of a problem with this match. With this match. I mean, the Lumberjack match is crap. I, I really don't like the lumber Lumberjack match at all. I think uh, it's a it's a good concept, but when have you ever seen a good Lumberjack match? No. Nah. I can't name one. I honestly cannot name one. Um, it's just 30 jobbers, you know, surrounding the ring. You know, jobbers and mid are surrounding the ring and pushes them back in the ring whenever they get out. It's, it's lame. I don't, I'm not a fan of it. I like tables. Of course I like tables. But... I think with tables, I think I like to see more than one table get destroyed. I know that the concept, you know, put your opponent through a table and win the match. But I think, you know, I'd like to see tables matches where you just put, you just use tables and you just put put your opponents through as many tables as you goddamn want. And, you know, to the point where you can pin them or, you know, submit them or even like, you could use like a, a similar concept to like the last man standing, you know, put your opponent through the table. If they can't get up in 10 seconds, it's all over. And the only way that can work is by putting your opponent through a table. That's the only way you can use that 10 count. I don't know. That could be something. But I don't know. I just feel as though tables matches need a little bit more to it, especially at a to headline a pay-per-view. I mean, I like the tables match concept, like I said, but I like to see more than one table get destroyed. I mean, I, seeing someone go through a table is awesome. I mean, when Ryback put Kofi Kingston through those tables three times, that was freaking cool. On SmackDown, I think it was maybe two, three weeks ago. That was awesome. And look, Ryback's not going to win this match. Of course, the third one is the ambulance. The third match 
uh, the third, I guess, stage is the ambulance match. This is going to go to a three stage. This is going to, this is what's going to happen more than likely. Cena will win the first stage. Ryback will win the second, and Cena will win the third. Ryback's been coming out in an ambulance every single week for the past month. You know, there's no way they're not going to have Cena win in two stages. So it's going to go to the third stage, guaranteed. And um, John Cena will win this match. It's been rumored that Daniel Bryan will be facing Cena at Money in the Bank. And it, even strong rumors that he is turning heel, Daniel Bryan, that is, to face Cena. Not only is that going to ruin, De ruin Daniel Bryan, but I'll talk about that in the Daniel Bryan and Orton versus Shield match. But that's going to really... Uh, suck. I think I think the fans are going to want to cheer cheer General Bryan. I mean, WWE have been trying to build up Cena to make him look even better than ever. I mean, Cena, there's nothing you can do to build him up anymore. He's the number one guy. There's no one ever, no one close to him. You need to be building up other guys to go and challenge him. That's the thing that the WWE doesn't really realize at the moment, that Cena's the top guy. There's no one else close to him. Ryback's not near him. Ryback's just barely... The, barely a main eventer. CM Punk's probably the closest guy and they've already had too many matches over the past few years. And I think that they should leave that away for a couple of years and then revisit it later. I think John Cena just needs to lose. He just needs to lose. I think the best thing in my opinion, have Ryback beat Cena and have Daniel Bryan versus Ryback in an underdog type situation. Ryback can beat Daniel Bryan at Money in the Bank in a, in a controversial matter like a like a disqualification or an interference type thing or or a, a bad referee call, something like that, and then go to SummerSlam and have Daniel Bryan versus Ryback one on one. That would be that would be epic. Daniel Bryan can beat Ryback, get the WWE championship, and you know, you have this boyhood dream type situation where this underdog comes through and, and wins. I think that would be epic. That's what I would like to see. I like Ryback, he's a Probably my top three, or one, certainly one of my favorites. He's improving week in, week out. But Daniel Bryan needs the WWE Championship. There's no doubt about that. He's he's on fire right now. He's killing it. He was killing it this time last year. And they never gave him the belt. They gave him title shots, but they never gave him the belt. Gave him the belt. It's time to give him the belt, and it's time for Cena to step back a little bit and you know stop hogging the spotlight a little. I know everyone else is probably thinking the same. And whether or not that will happen, I doubt it. I think Cena will beat Ryback go on to Money in the Bank, beat Daniel Bryan, and I guess at SummerSlam, perhaps versus Brock Lesnar for the WWE Championship, and more than likely beat Brock Lesnar there as well. They, they just want to keep, Cena's just going to keep winning and winning. That's the that's the way I see it. I said earlier this year that he probably won't lose many matches this year. I, I didn't think he'd lose one. He has lost a couple, but I don't think he'll lose many. So I think he's going to win this one and go on to win and win and win. Thanks, guys.